that. Look at those teeth. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC. We're right here on WMDT TV 47 every Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. We appreciate you joining us. We are in Watchapreek, Virginia once again. It's one of my favorite spots in the entire world to go flounder fishing. Captain Brian B. He has got the brand new 22-foot Pathfinder Buffalo Hunter Guide Service. We're fishing with John Whitmire from Crabs to Go and my new friend John Nemec. Stay tuned after the break. We're going to try and turn some tough conditions into some flounder in the bucket. See you in a second. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Firestorm has the area's largest selection of sunglasses to choose from. Brand names like Oakley, Maui Jim, Bon Zipper, Electric, Ray-Ban, Costa, Smith, and Spy. Over 3,000 pairs of great brand name sunglasses. Nobody has this kind of selection anywhere. Firestorm has a great selection of watches featuring Nixon, G-Shock, Neff, and Freestyle. Over 32,000 square feet of awesome surfwear and equipment. Visit Firestorm's surf shop today on the boardwalk at North Division Street. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City beach and boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. I got it. Brian Beatty's coming. I'm going to have to give him something. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> it ain't like that. Brian, am I going to have a pleasurable ride right here? It should be all right. Okay. This is a nice boat. Thank you. Here, Scott. Yeah, this is nice. Pop up that side there, yeah, and then yeah. throw that towel in the uh, one of those side compartments. Just clean the bottom of my feet, my feet, just clean the front, right? Sixty-two <laughs> degrees. <laughs> yep. Uh, air or water? Water. <laughs> I like the color of this water back here so far. So the temperature. Thing all the way back here in the back yeah, of the creek. Yeah, that's warm. Yeah, so, like you're you're seeing you're seeing that on like the bottom of the tide. Yeah. So, but still, like I said, you know, last it, it should be 52. You know, out here anyway. No, so if it's, it's over 50, I'm stoked. It's gonna be over 50. Bucks. And if it looks like that, Jesus. I don't know about fish down here, it's tied inside. Tied up. Yeah, we're a few I'm hours not, away from the fish being real good. I'm not afraid they, of They it. don't bite real good when the tide's crazy high, but... I'm in a hurry. I happen to know the tide's going to go back out. Yes, it will. <laughs> one tide, one tide. <laughs> high tide's like 9.22 or something. 
so we, we'll have all day. Oh, yeah. That's, that's an extra drink. What's that? That's great. Yeah. So I drove I drove over our bridge yesterday. Two guys were fishing there. One guy standing there holding like an eight pound catfish. Really? Yeah. Nice. I was like, Jesus. Yeah. Awesome. Like, I've caught just about everything you can catch yeah. out of here. There were a group of fish there yesterday where I went to the Yeah, guiding a guiding a younger kid. Like, with a, uh, I didn't like this the, the bridge one so far. Where, yesterday when we were coming in here, we stopped on the bridge and burned the fish and he said he had about a shed. Oh, yeah. yeah. One guy had. What do you, how many white perch you see that one guy had? I don't know, half dozen. I mean, when he was white perch fishing. At where? At Florida. Oh, white perch only up there. Right. We'll be right back. Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. At Park Place Jewelers, we believe your true love should be wearing the brightest diamond in the room. Why do seemingly identical diamonds have a 70% difference in price? Park Place Jewelers is introducing the Bright Crystal Diamond, which is scientifically proven to be in the world's top 10% of all the world's brightest natural diamonds. Come into Park Place Jewelers and find out why from virtual reality to third-party validation and a GIA grading report, we will provide more buyer education and instill confidence in our customers that the Bright Crystal Diamond they are buying is a world-class diamond. Looking for a job and a fun place to work this summer? Come to Jolly Rogers' first ever job fair, Saturday, March 13th or Saturday, March 27th. Work at Splash Mountain, Speed World, rides and attractions at the pier, one of the three oceanfront hotels, or at one of the preferred partners on the boardwalk, Ripley's, Thrasher's, Ocean Bites, or Core Brothers. Hiring on the spot, come to the guest service office at Jolly Rogers on 30th Street in Ocean City, Saturday, March 13th or Saturday, March 27th between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Improve your vision. Improve your life. Call now to schedule your exam appointment or bring your prescription in today. An Optical Galleria is the creator of Hook Optics, the hottest new brand of polarized sunglasses made to handle the most demanding environments. This award-winning practice has three convenient locations, West Ocean City, Centerville, and Easton, on the web at eyesandart.net and hookoptics.com. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Bait Masters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. 
Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. <laughs> Perfect. Brian, what's the official water temperature now that we're fishing? 58.65. I like it. Are you a little bottom good, Scott? Yeah. Okay, because we're not even dripping a knot. So. Yeah. Is that Pretty the good. temperature? 58 degrees is perfect. First flounder in Ocean City was called just last week. And that water temperature was 55. And I got a buddy that fishes in Chincoteague over the past couple days. It's called a two-man limit twice in three days. And we're even a little bit further south than that. So tide's awfully high in here, but fish probably don't know that. Um, but 58 degrees is real nice. in an area a confluence of uh, like three channels that runs through the marsh here there's a big bay a big flat there it's a good spot should be productive tide's still a little bit high but we're gonna ride this out going tide here see what happens I'm gonna try to I'm gonna point the boat into the wind and we're just gonna kind of work our way into the wind because everything's going underneath the boat and stuff now Funniest thing about today was thinking I could take Scott fishing and we could catch a flounder. That's the funniest part about today. That's hilarious, actually. He's gonna have. I'm gonna be on like strike eleven. Did you say drop him in yet? Yeah. Yep. Strike eleven. Eleven feet of water. Some problem. There's always some kind of drama there's, with there's, you. <laughs> first he says, first he says, little guy. I don't know if he's talking to me or he's talking about the fish. I obviously feel a little bit more pressure than I, I think he's anticipating with the little guy comment. And then 16 and a half inches. I know it's been a little while, but I think that fish is 16 and a half inches at least. I'm going to actually go 18 inches on this fish. So we're going to check. We're going to check. But here we are fishing this windy, windy day that we didn't expect. And uh, a bite, a bite feels good. So let's check him out. Still barely see the numbers on Brian's ruler here, but we're gonna see if it's 16 and a half or, like I said, 18. See who's closer to the guesstimate here. Remember, flounder mouth closed, nose goes in the end of the board here, tail falls wherever he may lay. Well, what do you know? That's a one, and that's an eight. And there's his tail. My first flounder 2021! Woohoo! Where's the ice box? Uh, it feels good. We're battling a crazy high tide right now, but tide's going out. We should be good. Should be good. Now, it's, it's all downhill from here. I'm about to about to jettison Scott's fishing rod overboard. Okay, man, I got a, I got a hook up. <laughs> so quick question, is that the first flounder on this boat? 
Uh, of the season, yeah. Of oh, the season, okay. Yeah, but the yeah, new yeah, Pathfinder yeah. is not. Oh, no, 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 yeah. Okay, I, you've I've, had fish I, on this Yes, boat. other people can catch fish besides you. It is possible. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're watching Hooked on OC, folks, and it's our annual, not kind of annual, last year wasn't annual thanks to COVID-19, but it's our kind of annual Watch a Freak Flounder Fishing Trip. You guys know I love coming down here with my good friend Captain Brian Behe of Buffalo Hunter Guide Service, John Whitmire from Crabs to Go is along with us, and our new my new friend John Nemec. Stay tuned after the break. We've got some rougher than expected conditions for flounder fishing down here in Watch a Freak, Virginia, but if anybody can pull it out, it's Captain Brian. We'll see you in just a second. God, it's cold and windy. catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. With over 130 years combined experience, Midshore Electronics offers a team of FCC licensed, factory trained and CMET technicians that are ready for any marine electronics installation, modification or repair. No project too small. Midshore Electronics provides the most innovative marine electronics solutions available and our work has been voted best on the bay for over 20 years. With locations in both Cambridge and Ocean City, you can depend on Midshore Electronics to give you the highest quality of sales, installation, and design services available. Visit our website, stop by, or call us today. Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Luke from Sandmarks Marketing. He's here to tell us all about this awesome guy he's got ready for you to pick up in town. Luke, what's up? Hey Scott, how you doing? Thanks. Luke Howard from Sandmarks Marketing here to introduce the premier edition of uh, Destination Ocean City in the Delaware Beach. Got a great golf guide in here. Of course, you got something for the fishermen. I do. I also have spa, salon, and attractions for the wife and family too. For a comprehensive overview of the entire Delmarva area. Pick it up in your hotel room while you're in town. Look for the beach chair and you'll be there. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateague Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Stay on there, little fella. Little guy. Okay, that's a little guy. That's a little guy. That was that was more that was more deserving of the little guy comment. But as you can see, look how small that flounder is. That flounder is probably only 14 inches, maybe 13, 14 inches. He took that five inch white gulp and inhaled it. So we'll be careful getting the hook out here. The hooks on these deadly doubles, they're sort of like a circle hook, right? So you can actually take it, if you get the hook in the corner of the mouth here, just give it a bend down toward the bottom of the fish and it should roll out just like that. I'm actually gonna try and get that gulp back because I don't want him choking on it. Oh, there we go, got it. But there he is, little summer flounder. Legal size limit 16 and a half inches down here, just like it is in Ocean City. And he's not gonna make it. See you, buddy. Thanks. Ooh, oh, Dave. hold up, look. Uh, Lennox becomes cameraman. Here, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> Dave Messick from behind the lens. A little more, Dave. Little Get more. it to the net. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave, this thing is in. so out of focus. Oh, here, what now? <laughs> Oh boy, this is so out of focus. No, it's not. It might be though. All Just right. use here, 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 hold on, hold on. Pause. All right, get, back, get back to work, man. <laughs> get back to work. Let me explain this. All right, Dave's behind the camera. Brian, way to go. So look, we're trying to get as many. We're, it was a little slow to start off. Trying to get some fish in the boat. So Dave Messick from behind the camera jumps and starts starts fishing. Right, grabs Johnny's rod here. 
pink deadly double on this one, the Fishing OC pink deadly double with a couple of gulps. And sure enough, Dave gets the bite. Great job fighting the fish. And look at this stud flounder. Bro, way to go, put one out in front. <laughs> way to go, man. This is bigger than mine by a long shot. Probably 21 or 22 inch fish. You've heard that a lot though. Oh yeah, it's, it comes with the territory. Bro, congratulations, that's a 20 and a half inch flounder. Simona and Dorian are gonna be super happy about that. Captain Brian B here, here folks on the Buffalo Hunter Guide Service. Watch a pre Virginia. This is how good it can be sometimes and we are fishing on a crummy weather day. The wind was supposed to be northwest, like five to 10 knots. It's more like northeast, east, 15 to 20. But water's clean, pretty warm, great drift going on. Awesome fish. Yeah, bro. You lost your bottom. You're looking for. This is when you feel that. That's what I'm. That's what I'm waiting to feel. Some some kind of movement. Something. We're in 30 feet of water right now, so. Bottom. Bottom. Feels good. Feels good. Get the gaff. Johnny Whitmire, Get your gaff. flounder to go. All right, all right. Nice Looking job. Good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, brother. Hell yeah. I think he'll measure. I think he'll measure. Thank you, sir. Pretty work, Johnny. Good man. Nice job, Feels good man. to get out of the, get one out of the, the water there. He's a chunker. A little fat chunky one. 16 and a half, get there. As I'm up here double fisting like a, some, some kind of samurai flounder fisherman. Oh yeah, 17 and a quarter. Yeah! <laughs> Brian doesn't like talking to people too much. He's like 17 and a quarter, pew, gone. <laughs> All right, so Johnny's fishing the back of the boat using the chartreuse deadly double, the original Dale Timmons chartreuse deadly double. And you got just minnows on there? Yep. He's using just live minnows. So down here in Watchapreek, they seem to favor live bait sometimes. Although all of my fish and my bites have come on just a white gulp. Um, but we've had a little bit of a change in the luck here with the change in the weather. The wind's still blowing out of the northeast pretty strong, but the water's cleaning up. Tide's moving out. So as this water moves uh, moves out and it gets shallower, it's going to get a little bit warmer. And as clear as it is, we, we could have some luck. So that's three in the box. Yeah! Went from zero to hero in like 25 minutes. Yeah! Featuring the finest and largest fleet of charter boats in the Mid-Atlantic region, the Ocean City Fishing Center has been the premier spot for offshore sports fishing for four decades. Whether it's a family outing, a corporate event, or just a day on the water with your friends, all our charters are led by Coast Guard licensed captains and boast knowledgeable crews dedicated to helping you catch the big one. Call us today and book your charter. We accommodate groups of all sizes. The Ocean City Fishing Center, the locals know it's the best place to go. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater Center Console and Sylvan Pontoon Boat Dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan Pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. You know Miller Light only has one more calorie, right? <laughs> Right now at Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning, we're offering our 16 sear heat pump system with matching variable speed blower for super low pricing. All pricing includes standard insulation, a 10 year part and 10 year labor warranty. And if you're not in the market for a new system, we service all make and model air conditioners, heat pumps, gas furnaces and ductless mini splits. Let Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning keep you comfortable this season.
now back for more Hooked on OC. John, I'm coming around your other side. All right. Here, lift up for me. Lift up. Color, color. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, boy. He's close. He's close. Yeah, we're going to measure He's that close. one. We're going to measure that one. Hold on. Let me spin the boat here. If you want, you can deck it, Brian. I'll take care of that part. Okay, I think he's small. I do, too. But oh. Oh. Nice, oh. nice dimity release. Magic net. Another one, man. I the magic it. net. <laughs> love it. Here you go, Scott, right, if you want to do that. Let me pull this in real quick. Johnny, pretty work. Thank you, thank you. Brian, we just got real shallow. Yep, I see it. We're good. We're good. We're All right, we'll take over here. We're going to measure this fish. Got him? I'm going to go with probably not, but I've been surprised before. This guy's going to be borderline. Probably going to fall somewhere in this range. You can see Brian catches a lot of fish between 14 and 15 inches. This is really worn down here. <laughs> so nose into the tip of the board. Bring it on down. Just like I thought. 15 and 3 quarters. Sorry, Johnny. 15 and 3 quarters, but... Still another nice summer flounder, man. See, these guys are just probably fresh in from the ocean. They're just moving in here from offshore. They've been out there all winter in like 600 to 1,200 feet of water. They head this way sometime, you know, late February, early March, depending on the water temperature. And they come into these back bays behind Virginia and Maryland, Delaware, places on the East Coast. And we start catching them sometime, usually end of March, first part of April. But this guy's a little bit smaller than we can allow to keep him. Looks like he's been getting his fill back here, probably eating grass shrimp, small minnows, shiners, that sort of thing. But he's going back. Thank you, brother. Got it. Hurry up, man, get the net. For what? <laughs> <laughs> I knew about halfway up, but I wanted you to come up here so you can stand next to me. <laughs> well, you got him. <laughs> The coral reef action. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you one thing, the coral fishing in here, here in Watchabury, oh, Virginia is way better than Ocean City. <laughs> what kind of coral is that? Do you have any idea? Oh, this is a perforated, uh, Oh, that was the only nice, cool nice, sounding word nice I could try. think perforated of. Looks, it's perforated. Perf I think it's a perforated. Look at all the sphincters on that. Yep. Careful. All right. <laughs> As we get set up here, we're going to talk flounder fishing setup 101 with Scott Lennox. I get this question all the time. What are you using for flounder fishing? And this is it. The Calcutta TE stands for total efficiency. This is the 200 size. I've also got a 250. Now this real compact version of the Calcutta. They don't make this reel anymore, but you can get something similar. They make the Calcutta D nowadays. They actually make one in silver now, so you can get a really nice looking setup if you get to decide to get the silver. Atlantic Tackle in West Ocean City has all the different options. If you want to go fishing for rock fish and bigger fish like that, maybe fishing off the beach, they also make a 400, they make a 700, and they would go on these rods just as well. And this is it, buddy. The JPR Curly Q Paul Rayburn Special. Johnny asked me just a little while ago, do you ever fish with anything else when you're flounder fishing? The answer is no. I love this rod ever since I've gotten it from Paul. It's custom as you can make it, man. JPRrods.com. This is the Fish in OC version. Yellow and blue through the wrap here. There's Paul's logo. Got my name on it here. Fish in OC here. Flounder there. This beautiful wrap that goes up the, the guides. And then there's the curly cue. If you look from the base of the rod from the butt all the way to the tip, you can see how the, the uh, eyes go around the blank. And what that does is it makes it fight a little bit more like a spinning rod instead of bending over and kind of flipping back and forth as the line goes across the blank. It always hits a guide going out and it runs much, much smoother. And I've got that too. The Fishing OC, Dale Timmons, Deadly Double. And they call them deadly for a reason. Dale designed this rig way back when. Jason Mumford gave it its name because one day they were out flounder fishing and it was deadly compared to everything else they were using. We brought it back into uh, existence a couple of years ago. Now we retail it all over the place. You can get it on our website. All the tackle shops in Ocean City have got them, all the way from Chincoteague, Virginia, all the way to Lewis, Delaware now. So if you're watching one of those areas, you can pick them up there as well. They really, really work well. First flounder in Ocean City was caught this year on April the 5th, um, and it was caught on one of these, deadly double with a white gulp. I'm gonna show you that white gulp right now. I like using the five inch. 
on the bottom hook. There he is. It's one from last year, so beat up, but still gonna work just fine. There is a right and a wrong way to hook a gulp. Don't just hook a gulp through the nose and let him hang on there, all right? You can catch fish like that. That's not the way to do it. Don't hook him upside down so he's hanging like this. You want it to go through his nose, out the tip of his head. You see he's got eyes on him right there. And you slide him up the shank of the hook just like that. And that's it, man. You're gonna catch flounder on it just like that. Drop this rig down to the bottom. Got a one and a half ounce sinker on here. And on the top hook, you might hear a little bit more about these later, but we'll see how they work out for us. That's a flatworm, red tail, white body, and a live minnow right through the tip of the nose. Boom! Just like that. That way he stays alive. You can see he's going to live there. You get him too far back here on the head, you're going to go through his brain, you're going to kill him. Too far forward on the lifts, anything that grabs him, he's going to come right off. So right there, he's on there nice and snug. Top hook, chartreuse. Bottom hook, chartreuse. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. Drop it in and see what happens. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Senior Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Pure lure, baby, pure lure. In the early days of the boardwalk in Ocean City, Mr. J.T. Thrasher introduced a unique concept, one in which a food concession stand would specialize in only one product. Yes, in 1929, Mr. Thrasher had one goal, to produce the best tasting French fry ever. Today, five generations and 84 years later, tradition still reigns supreme. The emphasis is on quality and nowhere will a better French fry be found. Now Thrasher's, the best French fries on the planet, can be found on 2nd Street in the boardwalk and 8th Street in the boardwalk, as well as our original location at the pier. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore, available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu, including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. And now back for more hooked on OC. Let me get the net, bro. I got the net. You got it? Never mind. That's a good one too. Come on, Captain Brian. One more drift. One more two hour drift. I'll stay three hours if they can start biting. A little bit deeper water, man. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Shoo. He swallowed her. He swallowed her. He swallowed her. He swallowed her. He yeah, swallowed her, all right. Deadly double strikes again. And look, I'm going to show you something on this deadly double. This is an antique deadly That's double here. Yeah. So the difference between what I'm using and what Brian is using is not very drastic, but same same exact same, setup. Same exact setup, but this is the original Dale Timmons Deadly Double. This was actually tied by Dale Timmons himself, the world famous man that we love so much. And it's got orange ow, orange it's sharp hooks sharp still. <laughs> orange blades on here. And this time of year I, I always like the oranges, reds. Yeah and stuff like that which and pink you know is kind of same shade but for some reason i don't know you don't think of orange as a great you know as one of your typical no. fishing colors but 
It's not know. something that's regularly found in nature, you know? I don't, yeah, I don't but know, but they seem to like I it. I think in different lights and different water conditions and stuff, grass shrimp can put off that color right. spectrum, you know? Yep. Bit. They're like a light brownish color. Sometimes they can be dark brown, depending on what kind of marsh they're coming out of and stuff. But this is the this is it, man. This is where the, the our design came from, the original Dale Timmons Deadly Double. And now we're just getting them produced uh, and selling them at retail all over the place. And they work really, really well, as you can see. So Brian caught this fish. We were literally saying last drift, right? We're getting ready to quit and get out of here because it's, it's, chilly. it's cold. It ain't chilly. It's cold, man. It's cold. I'll use the word. It's cold and it's windy. It, yeah. Forecast for today was like 68 northwest 5 to 10. And I'm not going to use anybody's name, but you're wrong. You're either wrong or did flat out lied to us because it wasn't even close. Brian and I were joking around about it with text messages the other day. And I'm like, man, that forecast scares me. 68, 5 to 10 northwest, that's never true. And sure enough, we get out here. First thing this morning, we could tell it was a little bit puffed up. It was blowing probably 5 to 10. And then we get out here, and literally all day long, it's been blowing probably 15 to 20 uh, with yeah, the occasional higher gust. Um, and it's blowing out of the north, northeast. We're in, we're in drawing channel right now over on the east side, away from Watcher Creek by a couple of miles through the marshes and stuff. Is this Paramore over here? Yeah. Paramore yeah. Island is just off to our east. It's, it's, it's below Assateague Island to the south off of Virginia. Um, Assateague Island is up to the north of us by several miles. Paramore Island is out here. It's not accessible by car, I don't believe, in this portion of the, uh, of the ocean. But it's a great spot for surf fishing and that sort of thing. So I'm pretty certain this fish is going to be another keeper. Uh, but let's give him a measure. That huge minnow too. Big old minnow, you said as you put him on here how big that minnow was. Yeah, yeah, he's like 18 inches. Always mouth closed. And this fish is just about the same size as mine. 18 inches. Beautiful summer flounder. I'll tell you a little bit about them. So when these guys hatch, the eggs hatch and they're in the larval stage, they sit straight up like this and swim just like every other fish does. And then several days into their lifespan, they're gonna roll over onto their side. Summer flounder like this is a right-eyed flounder, meaning that when he's laying on his bottom and his mouth is below his eyes, his eyes are on the right-hand side of his mouth. Both eyes rotate to the same side of the head. They lay flat on the bottom, mouth closed. They'll use these finlets on the side and they'll shake themselves burrow down in the mud or the sand or whatever bottom they happen to be laying on and they'll sit there and wait for a for a bait to go by and they'll open up that big mouth <laughs> whoo, and they'll come up and eat a bait this one ate the wrong minnow but as you can see beautiful beautiful fish toothy critter too Paralic paralictes dentatus you can hear the dentat part of that Ooh, ooh. did you see that from way back there he didn't like me touching him on his mouth he snapped shut and those guys heard it in the back of the boat you can see that you can hear the dentat part of his of his name. That's the teeth in there. Really sharp teeth in there. And it's awesome for grabbing bait. They'll usually grab a bait, swallow it whole. Uh, the teeth are more for grabbing more than they are for chomping like a bluefish, where he would cut a bait and take pieces out of it. That's an awesome fish. We've all got one for the fryer, fellas. We're doing good. Great We're trip with Captain Brian Behe. Tough day, but we are getting it done. Deadly Double's doing the work and putting some flounders in the boat. Awesome stuff. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. It's beyond the gun. It's the brain before the bullet. It's not you doing a drill, it's you mastering a skill that could save your life. Fortress Training trains both beginners and advanced shooters on the skill of carrying a firearm and is unlike any other training. Fortress Training has helped over 2,000 people successfully obtain a Maryland wear and carry permit. If you qualify, we can help. Public, private, and corporate events or training are also available. Train at the next level. Train with Fortress Training. PYY Marine is the Mid-Atlantic's choice for Yellowfin, Cape Horn, and Solus boats and is an authorized factory trained sales and service center for Yamaha, Mercury, and Suzuki engines. PYY Marina in Pasadena, Maryland offers affordable slips and the gated facility offers 24-hour surveillance for worry-free storage. Whether it's education, service, slips, sales, or storage, our goal is to make boating easy and fun. Give our experienced crew a call and let our customer service speak for itself. Why PYY Marine? Why not?
And now back for more Hooked on OC. I didn't know what it was. All right. Hold on, boys. I'm going to suck here for a little bit. I got you, I got you. That's all good. You're good, you're good now. You're good now. We're we're planed out, we're good. You're safe. Like this rig? Yeah, I like that a lot. Like That's the first time I've had all these people on it though. It's a lot. It's a lot, but it's she does fine. How many people will be in the charter? I will take four, that's absolutely the most. So. Four, 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 yeah. Five, six, seven, seven, seven. Yeah, it's fine. Four, 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 four. That was better than I thought it'd be, to tell you the truth. Qualified captain, right here in Washington Creek. You follow that, Brian? Oh yeah. The knees and beg us to go flounder fishing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry, combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. At Spencer Yachts, your dreams can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style of boat building and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Spencer Yachts Brokerage is Spencer Yachts' in-house trusted yacht broker with extensive market knowledge. New to Spencer Yachts Brokerage is the beautiful 77-foot Jarrett Bay Boatworks sport fish, Mama Who. Check out Mama Who and all that Spencer Yachts Brokerage has to offer at SpencerYachtsInc.com. Aquatraction Custom Design Marine Flooring Products have exceptional traction wet or dry, making your boat safer, cleaner, and more comfortable. Aquatraction Flooring is durable, stain resistant, and backed with 3M adhesive specifically designed to withstand the harshest marine environments. With 23 nationwide reps, Aquatraction has an unmatched three-year warranty, provides the fastest turnaround time, and has unparalleled customer service. Check out Aquatraction.com to find out why I've got it in my boat and how it's charter proven all around the country. Just what exactly does Okaya mean? Okaya means strength. 
Hokaya means dependability. Hokaya means value. Hokaya means fishing. Check out the full line of Okaya rods, reels, and accessories at okaya.com and find out for yourself why thousands of customers around the world rely on Okaya fishing equipment. Because Okaya means business. back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47 every Sunday morning 7 o'clock. We're at the end of the show right now folks, so I am in Atlantic Tackle for the Angler's Advantage. Recently we've been getting a bunch of questions, emails, phone calls, you name it, about cast nets, right? Different sizes, different weights, the different options that you've got, everything between three and a half and ten foot and they've got them all here at Atlantic Tackle. So if you're a newbie to the, the sport of cast netting and you want to catch some bait, I really recommend going with something like this. Look, it even says on the box, you will love it. This is the buddy net. So if you don't know what you're doing, you're new to cast net and trying to catch bait, kids, this is great for you guys. Instructions on the back of the box. It's got a ring built right into it, so it's almost dummy proof. It's going to take a little bit of skill with getting the thing untangled at first, but once you do these instructions, you're really going to figure out how to throw that cast net effectively, and then you can go from that and graduate into some larger sizes. But if you don't know how to throw one, this is the way to start off. Um, don't be you know, embarrassed because there's a kid on the front of it wearing a life jacket. This is for a novice, kid, regardless. If you don't know how to throw the cast net, start with something like this. A couple of different baits that we're going to find in our back bays are these bad boys. Get this question a lot. Bunker, or LY you hear them referred to as? and mullet. These are my two favorites for flounder fishing. And the cast nets do it, catch them all. Got to be particular though on what kind of cast net you're going to use to catch these. Question I get most often is where do you catch these different fish? So we're right on the commercial harbor here. Usually late June, sometime early July, bunker will start to swirl in here all the way down to the ramp and in marshes and creeks and stuff around Ocean City. That's the best place to catch bunker and mullet. If you see mullet, they're going to be up on the surface, usually curving a straight line right down the, the marsh uh, lines. Bunker are going to be spinning. They're going to be in a circular rotation like this. You might see some little flicks up on the surface. That's how you're going to notice the difference between bunker and mullet. Cast netting, you're going to want to go with a quarter inch or three inch mesh. If you don't know what you're doing or you're a novice, start with something in the four to five foot range. They also have them in six, seven, eight, and ten foot. So you guys that are going off the beach to try and catch these big bunkers, things like that going offshore, maybe chunking tunas, shark fishing, that sort of thing. And if you know what you're doing, that's the way to go. Big 10 footer, a couple things you're going to want to pay attention to. The mesh size, obviously the size of the net, and then the weights on that net. You're going to see on the top here, those three things. This particular net is a six, a six footer, three eighths mesh, monofilament material. It's got one pound of weight for every linear foot, all right? So that's the different sizes that you wanna use. Let me show you one. This is how it's gonna come. A Couple different options, you got the bag in the box. This is never going back in this box, so throw this away. If you can get it back in there, good on you, but this is how you're gonna find it packaged, all right? And I'll show you the difference between a six footer and what you might think it is. So get your net all unraveled. There's the neck of the net, and as you can see, a six foot net is six feet tall. So this opens up to 12 feet, 12 foot radius. This is the way to go. Once you get this thing all set up, we're not gonna show you how to throw it, but we'll show you how to set it up. Arms lengths, get it all the way down to the neck, the eye of the net, grab it halfway down, and then you're gonna start your sinker stuff. Once you're done throwing your net, you're gonna have some really awesome bait. Atlantic Tackle has options for storing your bait, like this Bait Buddy by Fraybill. Comes with an aerator and everything in it. Here's my recommendation for once you get your cast net. Five gallon bucket, everything goes in it. You take it off, just leave it just like this. Because like I said, 
the difference between it going in here and going in here is drastic. Atlantic Tackle right here on the Commercial Harbor, right across the street from Sunset Grill and Sunset Marina. We'll see you here. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. How much protection from the beach would you need to match the Arctic Air Coastal Series air conditioner? Still not enough. Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. Unfortunately, the, the way I grew up, the longest one time I've ever been out of Worcester County is three weeks. This property that we're on right now, this 500 plus acres, is one of the nicest properties that I know of from a biological standpoint. Anytime somebody can, can save a forest like this, it's, a, it's critical. Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Yeah! As far as miserable conditions go to final product, this is about as good as it gets. Yeah, well, it was a grinder today. Bro. It was a grinder. Cool. I said when we pulled back into the dock, I talked to Dave and I was like, man, if we had pulled up this morning and it looked like it does right now, we probably would have said, are you sure you want to do this? I mean, it is puffing right now. We had to hide behind a shed. Uh, we're here in the parking lot right across from the, the ramp here in Watcher Creek, but it is blowing, man. It's north, northeast, kind of, probably 15 to 20. And the forecast was calling for more like 5 to 10 out of the northwest, completely different direction. We all joked like when we first saw the forecast a couple of days ago, northwest 5 to 10, 68 degrees, sunny, like it was going to be beautiful. You got shorts, no right? thinking about it. These no guys are, about it. You got shorts and <laughs> flip-flops ready to go. Psych! There was nothing like that today, but... We ground it out, man, and Brian has got some spots down here where you can get out of the wind, find a decent drift, the water was clean, and look at that, bam! Hold up, fellas. That's a good trip, man. Yeah, right? Dinner. Consider, that's a good trip. Considering, what we had to, considering what we had to fight through this year, and you know, everybody knows springtime on the shore, weather is always kind of a wild card, so you gotta, you gotta do the best with what you got, and today it was just sheer will and determination. Yeah. We grounded it out and made it happen. Yeah, we, we saw one other boat fishing. He had two fish. Um, we had, saw another guy came in here had zero, you know, a couple other boats that I didn't see any bent rods on. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we did really pretty well I'll considering the conditions, man. Really nice fish, and these are quality fish too, man. I think we the smallest one's 17 something, two 18s, and a 20 and a half. Um, really great fish. These are quality fish. We're gonna get some nice fillets off these bad boys. And Captain Brian does this April, May throughout the year. So show should be on in time for you to catch him for the end of his season, sometime in May. What's the contact info? How do people get in touch with you? You can give me a phone call at 240-876-9054. You 
You can catch me on Instagram, Buffalo underscore Hunter underscore Fishing, um, and Buffalo Hunter Guideservice.com. And a big congratulations to Brian. We didn't say it while we were out there fishing, but Brian is, has a newborn baby. Yes, John, sir. John D, right? JD? JD. JD, we call him. Got a full head of hair. Congratulations to he and Dana on the new, on the new baby boy. And thanks very much, bro. Thank you. Great Thank time. Thank you guys. Thank you. Very John, much. John, Thank you. high fish high fives all around. Great trip, folks. If you want to get into some really, really great flounder fishing early season, a little bit before Ocean City starts, watch a Creek, Virginia, Chincoteague, Virginia. These are areas to do it. Guys like Captain Brian can put you on the fish, even in some pretty tough conditions. Make sure you go stop by and see John at Crabs to go. We will see you next time for another episode of the show. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. It's Hooked on OC on Facebook and Instagram. Fishing OC on, Hooked on, on uh, Instagram and Facebook. We'll see you next time for another episode of the show. Peace out. Nope. Yeah!